Hi families, this is Miss Matozo. I hope that you are enjoying a lovely Sunday and enjoying your final week before school starts. Today we're going to do a two-part overview of our A and B schedule to assist our new families and our sixth grade families transition from the six-day cycle at the elementary school into the middle school and to clarify any further concerns or questions our families and students may have. Let's start with last year's 2019-2020 master schedule. You can see that our schedule is grade bound. By grade bound, you'll see that in sixth grade, sixth graders run a specific schedule. In seventh grade, our seventh graders run a specific schedule and so on and so forth for our eighth graders. Every period is roughly 48 minutes long with a five minute homeroom, a full period lunch slash recess, in addition to bulldog block. Bulldog Block was instituted last year as a way to integrate an intervention and enrichment program for all of our students. Some families may be thinking to themselves that their children may not necessarily need academic support. However, all of the research that we spent the past two years reviewing would suggest otherwise. And we found that integrating an intervention period assisted with skills-based development. Although the Bulldog Block was cut a little bit short by our COVID quarantine, we look very much forward to whenever we have the opportunity to reinstitute our Bulldog Block. Additionally, it is important to note that that was a full period for our students. On A days, they would have their intervention, as you can see here in our seventh grade block, and on B days, their enrichment. B days for enrichment, where teacher designed mini courses that afforded opportunities to our students to do things like paint our walls throughout the building, redesign our cafeteria, participate in local community organizations, and learn more about important figures in black history, as well as in poetry, art, math, science, and music. Additionally, you'll notice families that our lunches are also grade bound. So that means that all of our students in sixth grade during period four would have lunch. Our seventh graders had period five lunch and then our eighth graders period six lunch. And you would notice that as our sixth graders are in lunch, our seventh and eighth graders are in class and vice versa. This may help contextualize why our hybrid schedule is unable to accommodate additional classes. The most commonly asked question has been, well, my son or daughter doesn't have a period two or a period four or a period eight. As a result of not being able to offer Bulldog Block, we felt that it was more important to the structure of our day and for our students to be able to maintain social distancing by taking the bulldog block and reassigning that as a class period so that our teachers, rather than teaching four content specific classes and a bulldog block, would be teaching five content specific classes. However, that doesn't change for our students. They still take four periods, English, math, science, social studies, and then their day would normally rotate with world language or a supplemental reading class, for example, with PE or art and tech. And that rotation was a very simple A, B rotation. When we start school on a Tuesday and it's an A day, we go from there, A, B, A, B, A, B. So that's what our master schedule would look like in a typical school year. I'm going to pause and let our families digest that information and then the second part of the video will focus on our hybrid schedule and how we are approaching our A and B rotation for our elective classes. In elementary school, those classes are referred to as cycles. Once you start to transition into the middle school, the elective areas are built into the program, the design, and the master structure of our eight period day which is further built upon at the secondary level at Haddonfield Memorial High School or any other high school that a child may move into.